Ok. America is obviously going through an economic downturn. It's different from a normal economic downturn. Most of the economic downturn since uh, the Great Depression were a result of excess inventory accumulation or the Federal Reserve Board stepping on the brakes too hard because it was worried about inflation. In both of those cases, the economic downturn is relatively short-lived. In the first case, uh, as inventories uh, decumulate, they get back to normal level, economy starts taking off. In the second case, the Fed realizes it made a mistake, takes its foot off of the brake, sometimes actually steps on the accelerator, and the economy recovers. This time, it is, in a sense, a, a much deeper problem, in some ways similar to the Great Depression. Our financial system is devastated. It is also, at the same time, you might say, a crisis in capitalism. It's a crisis in capitalism because what we see so clearly that the, some of the most important institutions, our financial institutions, did not do the job that they were supposed to do. The financial system is likened to the brains of the economy. It's supposed to allocate resources, allocate scarce capital, and manage risk. It didn't allocate capital efficiently. Spent much, to, hundreds of billions of dollars into housing beyond people's ability to pay. It didn't manage risk. It created risk. Meanwhile, it didn't do what it should have done, which is create risk products that enable people to live in their homes. Millions of Americans are losing their homes, and with that, their life savings. So anybody looking at the America's financial system today says it didn't do what it should have done, what it's supposed to do in a market system, but they look at the returns that they got over the last five years and they got compensated very generously to put it mildly. Forty percent of corporate profits went into the financial sector. A little bit of that was deserved. Some of that went because capital got funneled into high-tech industries, new, new things that really have enormous social value and financing, providing money for those is what they are supposed to be rewarded for doing. But they received a reward far beyond their contribution to society. In fact, I would say their contribution to our society was negative. They created risk, they misallocated capital, and yet they walk away with hundreds of millions, actually billions of dollars. So what we are seeing is clearly that the market economy is not functioning functioning the way market advocates say it's supposed to function.